That's right, Bridget. Just within the past five, ten minutes, Judge White let those jurors go into deliberations behind closed doors and begin that. No word on how long that just may take. Now, the state began with their closing arguments around nine o'clock this morning, first putting up a picture of the victim, Jennifer Fulford, for everyone to see and laying out a timeline of her day from start to finish on September 27th of 2017. The state arguing this was premeditated murder, noting the items Scott Nelson bought prior to the home invasions and kidnapping. Those items including duct tape, a knife and zip ties. The defense, however, arguing that these are everyday items that people buy. But the state coming back with a rebuttal, posing the question, why would a homeless man need those items? Now, during the state's timeline breakdown, they said Nelson had ample time to think about his actions from the moment he was in that Winter Park home to the drive, as he said yesterday while on the stand, to get rid of Fulford to those final moments when he led her into the woods and stabbed her seven times. There is no doubt that Mr. Nelson plotted, planned, premeditated this home invasion robbery and that when Mrs. Fulford did not <coughs> comply with his requests, she became this collateral damage. He had always said he had killed her. Not back down from that. But it wasn't premeditated. It wasn't designed to do that. And again, those jurors began deliberations within the past five to ten minutes. Judge White saying that we could go into the penalty phase as early as Monday. Of course, we are going to stay out here and we will continue to bring you the very latest and let you know when the jurors are back in the courtroom today.